we're going to work on Lofty. They've got three products, Mild, Bold, and Crunchy, and they want to know at what revenue level will they break even. Break even in units is not helpful when you have more than one unit with different contribution margins. So when you have a multi-product situation, you use the contribution margin ratio for the total firm, rather than any one product, to solve the break-even situation. So let's do that. So here I have the three products set up. So let's calculate the contribution margin individually, and then we'll add it up and get the total. So the sales price of mild would be the $11 times the 2,000 units that they sold, the variable cost, the $6 times the 2,000 units that they sold. And I can copy this across. Excel is so amazing that way. And get the contribution margin in total for the three products. And now I want uh, for the company overall. So I can add across here. So the sales from all the product lines and the variable cost from all the product lines. And so I get the company total contribution margin. And from there, I can calculate the weighted average contribution margin or the contribution margin for all the products at this particular sales mix ratio. And I get 20%. So now I can use my formula, fixed cost over contribution margin, to get my break-even level in sales. So there's our fixed cost divided by the contribution margin we just computed. And so the break-even level in revenue, sales revenue, is 600000 The second part asks about what would happen if you sold more mild and fewer bold. So that's about changing the sales mix. So this 20% contribution margin is based on this number of units for each of the products. So if we change the number of units, we would change this weighted average contribution margin. So let's try that. Before we do some numbers, can you make a guess? So let's calculate the contribution margin of the individual product lines. All right. So it looks like the highest contribution margin percent is mild. So if we sell more mild and l fewer bold units, our weighted average contribution margin is going to get bigger because we'll be selling more high margin. Let's let's see how that works. So let's take 500 of the bold units and convert them to mild units. Okay, so we saw the weighted average contribution margin go up. So what's going to happen to this break even if this contribution margin percent here gets higher? You have to sell less because there's more pennies from each dollar that are available to cover the fixed cost. Let's prove that to ourselves. So here the break even in revenue is done again with my new weighted average contribution margin when I change the unit sold to have more mild and fewer bold. And I break even sooner, under 600000 in revenue. And it can go the other way too. If you sell more of the lower margin and fewer of the high margin, you'll have to sell more to cover your fixed cost. So there you have it.